Wow, well, guys, I'm in a new city. It's called Santarim. They have like a mountain over there, bro. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's already bushy here. It feels like I'm already in Amazonas. So I want to go find some food. I am so, so hungry. I'm told there's a very popular place here. I'm walking in this hall. I'm told there's a very popular spot where it's like a river beach. And people go there to swim. Ah, I wish I could go. But let me see. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I could walk because it's just one stairs. Let me walk and discover what's going on here because I honestly want to have lunch. I'm so hungry. I hope it takes me to the right place. It's a hotel, it's so big. Yeah, took me to the right place. It's such a big place. I see the door over there. Okay. Wow. How do you even open this one? It's closed. Okay. I'll have to ask. But I hope you can see a swimming pool over the other side. There are lots of people swimming. Hmm. I wanna eat. I'm so hungry. Really hungry. This is a huge big hotel. I'm told if I go down here I might find a restaurant. Let me see if I get food. I'm so hungry. Like, I don't care how much money I'll spend. I just want to eat. <clears throat> I am really hungry. Oh. Yes, excuse me. Oi, are you comida? Si. Okay. I just want to sit somewhere close to the water that same wow. such a huge space probably I let me sit here oh. I'm so hungry and at the same time so tired like really tired look at this look how they made this thing it's crazy bro they're giving me some crazy ideas guys i'm having water before i get my main food it's so sunny here crazily sunny guys i asked the staff to just turn off the music in like in like one minute for me just to show you what's going on here because honestly this is uh, very 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 nice and i want to show you what's going on and i'm just enjoying a lot of beautiful uh, sunset Muito obrigado, amigo. Muito. so i just want to show you what's going on here i arrived last night i am so hungry but i think this will take away my my problem so we have beans we have rice we have this here we have also that and we have uh, this and we have all this technically i just want to enjoy and also have water i'll let you know how much i've paid for this actually i want to start amigo ja ja oh esta bien esta bien si sí. i want to start eating so that you guys can actually i'll let you know how much it's cost me the idea i'm trying to hurry up is i asked him to turn the music imagine the entire resort it's like a resort hotel and also I'll be taking you to my room, explaining how much I'm paying. And I'm in a place called Santa Rem. Man, this steak looks so good. You see, I want to take, but... <laughs> Did you see that? So, okay. Guys. 
So I have to, to do like this. Wow. These people look so professional. But uh, look, they brought me juice, a whole jug. That's my kind of vibe, man. Let me enjoy. Wow. I've actually asked them to add me more beans and more of this. Guys, I'm telling you, I am so full. I feel like a goat. <sighs> Why do I actually like saying a goat more than sheep? Sheep, they only follow without knowing. Goat, sometimes it can run here and there. So anyway, I'm here. I ordered a lot of food because I was feeling really hungry. And it turns out, actually, I didn't need to eat that much. One of these fine days, I want to fast. I really want to fast. I want to fast. I like fasting at least twice a month. It's one of the best ways to treat your body, I'm telling you. It's the best nutrition you can give your body. Fasting, like 16 hours without eating. For example, if you eat a meal, one, eat it the following day in the evening. So before they turn the radio on, I wanna say, this is a nice place, you can be here. A big hotel, it's called Baru, Barudada, Barudada Hotel. And I'm enjoying some juice here. Who got the Wanabana? The entire food, I'm even cutting some. The entire food, if you saw it, it's 155 reals. At this point is when I don't care about money. It's like, bro, can I eat and feel better? And I feel like I'm doing really good. But uh, thank God I chose this hotel. It's actually very nice. Eee, people are just jumping into water. I'm on my way to Amazon. You know what? There's the other side right there. There's a huge water body. I'm told it's the Amazon River. So, hmm. very soon I'll be taking a boat for two, two days. Heading to Manaus. Inside Amazonas. Right now, we're in a place called uh, Santarem. In a state. You know here they have states. In a state called para nobody visits here you see locals it's just locals if they are tourists i'll have to go there's another place i'm told the other side so and also it's nearly my last last weeks in brazil guys so i'm not here for so long so i want you guys to enjoy as it lasts okay so guys this place that i'm staying is my short break on my way to Amazonas as I already told you is I'm on my five-day trip to Amazonas and I'm now looking for an uber which should drop me to where actually they purchase tickets okay so technically I'm supposed to take uh, a boat or ferry I don't know actually which is the best way to describe this I don't know if it's a boat or ferry for two days I don't know if you can see there is a river over there that's a river right right here there's a river right there so that river if I take that river by a ferry or a boat it should take me to Manaus Manaus is the capital of Amazonas It's the biggest city in the middle of Amazonas and one of the ways to go there is to take a boat here they say two days some people say 38 hours some people say one day and a half so it's very confusing so but for now i want to show you where i'm staying this is my rest area one big bed i told you guys always i try to make my bed every single day actually i came to realize if i don't make my bed then my day does not actually go well for example today i delayed to make my bed so it's already five and I have not left the house. I've not even bought water. Even I'm looking for Uber, it's taking longer than, than normal. <sighs> now, let's go out because honestly, I need to get out of this house and try to figure out things. Otherwise, 
Otherwise, I'll have to stay here for one more day. I feel a little tired, but I need to move, bro. I need to move. I need to go to my house because that is my target. This place looks beautiful. And it looks like for rich people. See, they're fixing something over there. I think they're fixing water. Yeah. There is a big river here, guys. Huge. It looks like... Oh, now what's going on with this Uber thing? Let me see. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this Uber thing. Uber... What's going on? I should get a, a ride easy. Oi. I should get a ride easy, but it's taking... Or it's too close. Wow, look at this, guys. Can I actually show you up here what's going on? Whew. Look at this. Wow, and here. Super beautiful. It's a nice place. I'm paying $30 in that room. I, as I told you, I always book for two, so it's $30 for two. It's actually 30 or 25 because I used booking.com. One of the reasons nowadays I don't like Airbnb, though I use it a lot, is because... What, what is going on here? Uber, what's going on? Or I should cancel and, and order again. So one of the reasons nowadays I'm not using, I use Airbnb, but Airbnb has now crazy fees. It has taxes, it has cleaning fees, it has, uh, which other fees? There are like three more fees. There's, there's the normal, there is Airbnb fees, but uh, the beauty of booking.com, what they show is what you pay. Airbnb, they can show you $20, but you end up t paying $35 because they are like cleaning fees and all these things. I hope I'm not getting lost, guys. This hotel is such big that sometimes I'm lost. I think I need to do one more step because I see the swimming pool down there. I've not even had drinking water today. That can be dangerous. I need some drinking water, but I'll go. I'm going out. I want to show you a little bit as I wait for the Uber. I want to show you the restaurant here. Let me see if this Uber is still coming or not. It's 5.30. Should I cancel? It shows it's a straight line. Okay, let me figure out this Uber thing. Before I make any, any adjustments to show you where I'm staying. Because... I've been lazy the whole day. This vlog will be a lazy vlog. I'm sorry, but it's true. It's been, I've been so lazy. So I'm staying here. It's actually, I realize it's one of the expensive hotels here, but it's a very nice one. Uh, last night I went out to the local girl. She took me down to the streets. I didn't want to film much about her because sometimes not everybody should be on YouTube videos. So, let me see what's going on with this, with this Uber thing, man. It's taking so long. So, it's been nice. Brazil has been... Actually, right now, as I'm here, I don't feel like I'm in Brazil. I feel like I'm in a new country. Because it's so chill, very calm. Look, you don't see people. You see, like, one girl walking over there. Another one riding a bicycle. You don't feel that too much. Uh, like energy or people it you feel just calm okay so let me see let me see what i'll do let me see what i'll do okay so let me see what i'll do <laughs> uber no fala portugues amigo fala espanol or oh, english oh, Sí, una amiga recomendarme tu servicio. Quiero comprar tiquete para ir a Manaus. ¿A mañana? Sí, mañana qué hora eh, sale? A las 12 horas. 12 de la tarde. Sí. 
No, medio chía. Me... Medio chía. Oh, uno, dos. Ok, entonces eh, eh, quiero comprar la etiqueta, sí, está bien, mañana. La mañana no, de la mañana. Eh, ¿Dónde estás? Quiero comprar ahora, ahora. ¿Puedes comprar ahora? Sí. Para ir mañana. Y eso, ajá. Sí, quiero comprar. Entonces, ¿dónde estás? Olha, eh, puede comprar por WhatsApp porque yo no estoy. La agencia está fechada ahora. Oh, entonces mañana está bien? Puede, puede ser por la mañana. Sí, ¿qué, eh, qué hora? Dez horas. Ok, quiero comprar a misma hora y misma hora entrar la bota, bota o ferry. Es posible. Ok, ¿cuánto, cuánto días eh, esto toma? ¿Un día o cuántas horas aquí en Amazonas? Estoy nuevo aquí. Eh, dos días. Dos días. Santa Rima. Santa Rima no, ¿eh? Eh, sí, estoy en Santa Rima. Uh -huh. Dos días, Santa Rima no, no, no. Ok, ¿y cuánto cuesta? Uh, 180. 100. Eh, número a uno, número. Eh, es dos. Ajá, Ok, sí, sí, entonces mañana me, me voy. ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué parte de ciudad? Eh, Puerto de... ¿Tú puedes enviarme eh, la dirección para mañana? Sí, envíame, eh, escríbame un mensaje. Sí, quiero viajar mañana. Eh, sí, eh, ok. Eh, envi envíame tu local, ok, para mañana. So, guys. The guy you had me talk to, the local lady I was with yesterday who took me downtown, uh, she recommended me this person to actually call him and tell him I want to travel because this guy sells the tickets. I didn't actually understand how much it cost, but I'm guessing it's around 250 uh, reals, 250 reals. So that being said, it is uh, probably, probably, it's 50-50 now, probably tomorrow. I'll be traveling. Look at this Brazil, man. They're enjoying father and kids or brothers and sisters. I'm not sure. So actually they look like brothers and sisters. So the guy I'm talking to says it takes two days, guys. That's going to be a crazy vlog. So tonight I'll go and charge all my batteries, all of them. Charge my batteries for this GoPro, charge everything. And then I'll be ready for this uh, crazy adventure. It says tomorrow midday, so I'll have to leave my uh, hotel earlier. Today I'll pack my bags. So tomorrow I leave this place around 10 a.m. I go where they're selling these tickets. Then I'll be traveling around midday for two days. Meaning from midday to midday is one day. Then from midday to another midday, two days. I have to leave tomorrow. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be very difficult if I delay more here because if the journey is taking two days and uh, on 25th I'm supposed to leave uh, this country in a few more days, five days from now. So I need to start traveling. Wow, that will be one of my craziest trips ever. Imagine taking a boat for two days. Now I'm supposed to go to downtown. But the problem has been, I'm looking for Uber and Uber does not collect my information. Now I'm trying to see what to do here. And my friend also sent me the direction where I could, I could go see the sunset. So, I'm looking for that. Now, what's this? I need to cancel, cancel.
I'm canceling this. Oh, it's actually it's actually cheap, 150. Cancel. Also sent me. Oh, it's actually cheap. So this guy told me it's actually I should be there by 10 a.m. Agency, he gives me the agency name and he tells me 150 reals. Divide by five, that's like thirty dollars. Yeah, thirty dollars. But I think you can pay more to get like a first class type of uh, treatment, you know, for two days. So let's see, maybe if I pay double, like fifty. But that story will be tomorrow. Guys, I'm on my way to Amazonas. It's a five day trip. Uh, I found myself in this place here because kinda, it is the closest way to go to Amazonas. And this is crazy. I was in uh, Salvador, Bahia, where I wanted to visit Amazonas. And I'm telling you, it is damnly expensive, like $600. So I decided to go the adventure way, where actually I'm doing it hardcore this way. So I found a flight, a flight of I think it was like 250 to Brasilia. So I decided to visit Brasilia. You know, also it's in the expression of adventure, it's also good that I visit other places, not just one city. So. I have to be careful as I talk and now now the thing is I am trying to go to the center of this place where actually oh this looks like a nice place people selling and it looks like there's uh, there's a history here of a slave probably this town looks like one of those towns with uh, a lot of black history I'll take a picture of it and um, I'll let you know what's going on. So I wish it was in English. Prefer Municipal Santa Rem Secretaria. So this is Secretary Plaza de la Verdad. So this place here is like a Freedom Square. Uh, it talks about a date here. 24th, 10th, 7th, 71, 71, so, um, ex, Excultura Laurema Lear, I actually don't know what it talks about guys, but you can google it out and tell me what you see, but I see a slave who is free, freeing himself from his shackles right here, I think you can see, and he has all these chains, to the hands over there so this town here actually nobody visits this town but Mara is exploring with you showing you some history oi <laughs> there's some kids enjoying so I'm actually let me ask this amigo to the bone qual is esta esta monumento que significa Eh, sí, esa para esa esclavo. Eh, eh, esclavo da, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Da África, da África. Da África. Eh, da África, no, esclavo. Lib liberar. Eh, fue de libre aquí, fue en Brasil, eh. O oh, fui esclavo. aquí en este pueblo. Eh, fui aquí. Oh. Fui libertado aquí. Oh. Eh, eh, vida a África y fui libertado aquí antes de la esclavidad. Eh. Oh. Hey, muito obrigado. Eu sou de África. Ah, é? Sim. Sí. Conheço, sí. conheço. Sim, sí. eu sou de África. Ah, é Angola, estudos de desprezabilizante. Eu sou de Quênia. Quênia, conheço Quênia. Sim, sí, sim, sí, sim. Sí. É bonito, né? É o leão. Sim, muito leão. Obrigado. Mas vou passar em algo. Você tem um shopping ali, ó. Aí, ó. Shopping aqui, vem entrar lá. Uh -huh. Mesmo coisa, shopping lá de aqui. Oh, muito obrigado. Tá, tá, tá. Ok. So guys, I was asking this guy about this, uh, this slave and she, he tells me he's a slave who is free and this slave is actually from Africa. For those guys who understand Portuguese, you'll technically understand what he said. 
and it tells me the slave used to live here and then that is a monument to show the slaves broke uh, freed themselves here from the portuguese you know a long time ago brazil was one of the biggest places that most slaves were brought to you know people say slaves went to europe they went to you know some places but i'm telling you brazil is number one yeah yesterday when i was walking here i was also very shocked because they have mango trees in the middle of the road okay maybe i should cross so these people have mango trees in the middle of the road you can see that So I'm in a small town called Santa Rem. Santa Rem de Paro. Santa Rem de Paro. A population of uh, 300,000 people live here. I really wanted to go to the beach. And there's a very popular spot somewhere where I was last night. Now I can't find it. So. Let me see if I walk, if I can go there, Santa Rem. So as I was explaining is, Brazil was number one country with the most number of slaves outside Africa. I mean, no, I think I'm not really framing it right. When slaves were captured in Africa, most of them ended in Brazil than any other country. And uh, seeing that uh, slave piece right there, I say piece of art, it tells you the influence here. So are there black people because of that? Yes, there are really black people in Brazil. Oh, it's more brighter this way than the other way. I'm sorry, I'm filming that way. So yes, there's uh, more black people here, but nowadays, as we say, they are more mixed and they call them Morenos here or Masticha, that's some of the words they use here. So most people actually claim to be black because honestly they have the black, um, they have the black uh, blood in them. I mean, I don't know black, black blood, but uh, all I mean is uh, lineage, you know? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it looks, looks, looks like a school. Ah, oh. amigo, to the band. Uh -huh. <laughs> People here say, "Opa." Let me see what this guy is selling. It looks like he's selling something. Uh, amigo, is is Hugo? Suco? Caldo. Is suco? Caldo. Que es caldo, amigo? Caldo, comida. Oh, it's comida. Oh, it's no suco. No. Oh, estoy buscando suco. No. Suco natural. Oh, obrigado. I wanted to buy some uh, juice, guys, but he tells me he's selling some traditional foods here. So now that I'm getting lost, I better walk that way because if I walk that way, it takes me closer to the river that I want to go. But that being said, is this road looks like the most uh, uh, hyped road, you know? Yeah, I think they are trying to build like Europe or US where you have trees, you have the road, trees and people walking somewhere here. So, yeah guys, it's just amazing for me to travel around the world, to see the world the way I'm seeing it right now. It's just uh, very, very amazing. I think there is something here. I see two policemen outside. I don't know what is here. I don't know film it because sometimes Juridiciario, oh. I don't know what's actually going on there. Because sometimes when you film these people, they may think you are a spy. So, to avoid, you don't film. Okay? So, but here we can show you because it's purely uh, uh, How do I feel being here? It feels very out of Brazil, like super chill. And you know, the entire area around here is bush. Actually, in the middle of nowhere, like, just Google where we are, Santa Rem. Santa Rem. I'll put the description of the place in the title here. So, 
Yes, guys, let me see if I can have some water. I think they have some juice here, suko. Ah, I don't know if they have some juice. Maybe I could I could get some juice here. Ah. Oi, I sucos? No suco. Okay. Y agua? Okay, agua grande, por favor. Let me get some some drinking water here. They have the small one. Okay. Okay. They have a small one. I wanted a big one, but uh, quanto is three is okay. I think I have some coins with me. Un minuto. Uh, just dos. For the mira como es es uno o okay. Muito obrigado. Guys, I got some water. I have not drunk any water today, the whole day. Uh, I don't know if I should walk this way. I think I could get. Amigo! Aqui hay rio. Esta todo calle, si? Si yo caminando aquí, hay río para allá. Yeah. Okay, todo derecho. Yeah. Okay, thank you. thank you. All right. People here don't speak English, guys. So I speak Spanish because they actually understand. So this gentleman told me if I walk straight this way, I can actually meet a river. So let's go that way. I don't know what's happening with my Uber. Like it's not just functioning. But let's walk and see how people live. This is Brazil, guys. This is this is it. This is Brazil. They also have this thing that we have in my home, you know? Pumpkin. I think my mom will see this and be shocked. Yeah. One thing I came to realize is uh, countries with a lot of slave history, uh, they have food like Africa. They have a lot of uh, plants that can be found in Africa. Probably they came with these things or somehow they introduced them here. Eh, tricky situation. Yeah, so we want to walk this way. I'm kind of lost. I hope I have internet. I don't know why my, my Uber is not functioning. Probably I don't have internet. But the thing is, guys, this part here also feels like Mexico. If you've been to Cancun or some parts of Mexico, you hear the way the dogs are barking and all that. It's a feeling of being in Mexico, you know, and sometimes finding a car being parked in a place like this. Let me show you. You don't know if you see like this here. Just in the middle of nowhere, there is like a car parked. Yeah. Sometimes this feeling I found it when I was traveling in Mexico. I need to drink three of these, like right now as I do this video, because I haven't drunk any water the whole day. And also, this is the funny thing. In Africa, the sun sets here. In Brazil, the sun sets here. Do you see how funny that is? That's crazy. Uh, those are things that are untold I need to cross remember the guy gave me a simple instruction if you go so straight you'll find a river let's go please give the video a like guys Subscribe to the channel As I take you around the world I look like I'm lost, you know Technically I'm lost I've never And sometimes this blows my mind And uh, I don't know Maybe it's in my mind or something Like 
where on earth do I find myself standing in a point like this? Like right now, me standing here. What was the probability of me like standing in a place like this or walking in a street like this in the world, you know? That blows my mind because just the imagination that somebody could tell me one day, Maro, you'll be walking in, in scanty streets like this eh? unknown streets eh? as you prepare to go to Amazonas by a boat for two days I would say no, I would say no man, that's, that's, that's impossible, you are dreaming but now look at me, I'm right here right here, getting lost trying to catch up my Uber, it's not working now, this is crazy, man. Wow. I see some hope. I just want to go straight, straight, straight till the end. I see what will happen. Wow. This is uh, Santa Rem, Brazil. I think honestly, if I was to move or live in a place, it would be in a small town like this. Where sometimes you see houses eh, with flowers, it feels like a village, eh, it feels like a town. You know, if you're not careful, you're gonna be picked. Wow, look at that. You know? That's where I'm coming from, guys. Dogs are barking everywhere. People here have mango trees every corner, man. Even this house, there's a tree inside the house. Can you see that? Wow, yeah, people here. <laughs> ah, let me walk this way and see if I get... Uh, Yeah, this is Brazil. My water is about to finish. So there's something here I need to tell you. So this is their mailbox. Look how they look like. So they have like Casa Noventa. Actually, it's not Casa. In Spanish, this is Casa. In Portuguese, it's Casa. So, this is their mailbox, guys. Looks amazing. Another one has their mailbox there. Casa number 19. Hmm. Oh, this looks very interesting, guys. Super. This is our local area in Brazil. Just, I don't even know what this is. You know, things here look like abandoned, not abandoned. Cars look a little old. Mario is just walking. Thank God. This is is not a favela because in a favela i can't just walk like this because you don't know who is who in the streets but in this type of streets here you walk normal wow it's quite a walk and another thing also is uh me doing these videos of like walking also they help me stay fit you know at the same time it's the best way to understand a place or to get lost but the cities look clean look what are these guys doing oh it's a cage oh man it's coming here oh 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 there's a cage over there and these guys are playing with electricity i don't know if you can see this cage guys uh -huh. There's a Kate they are playing with right there. Oh, oh, that can be an accident right there. Let's go. That's how they play with Kate's. Actually, that's been saved. I want to take a picture. 
I want to take a picture of this street because I will post on my Instagram. Wow. It's a young boy here also playing. Man, it's a huge thing. Look. I don't know if you can see it. Amigo, to the band. Okay. Como se llama? Tonomi. Leo. Aquí esta calle ir en el río. Todo directo. Okay, obrigado. Okay, Leo. So I just met a young guy they are called Leo. I asked him if this street goes straight to the to the to the river and he says yes. Yeah, so Maru is just getting lost. But it's a clean city. This is the funny thing about this city. Oh, it's the bane. Okay, old man. Look, guys. It's a clean city. It looks like it rains a lot. And the rain cleans the city. I hope you can see that. I don't know if I should ask her. Oh. I wanted a lift to the river. So let's go straight and see what's going on. I've also seen some strange birds here, like uh, they look black. Let me see if I, I, will, I will get closer to one. They look like scavengers. And this place kind of looks, it used to be swampy, you know? You can tell the way the water is, you know, the vegetation. Yeah, these are the birds I've seen. I haven't seen them fighting. They like to fight a lot. Like right there, they are fighting on the road. That's the second uh, group I'm seeing. They are fighting. There's another one here walking. I think they are brought by the river. And maybe these are the birds we see somehow in December flying all over Africa. When it's December because of the seasons. Look how people live here, man. They wash their clothes, put them out. So I want to go straight. And they love their country. They put Brazil. Huh? Wow. The ladies chill outside. Oi. Yeah. There's a church here. Huh. You know, most people in Latin America are Catholics. I don't know if it's a Catholic church, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a Catholic church. They said Santo something. Santo Antonio. So that means it's a Catholic church. And sometimes they don't say church, they say cathedrals. Okay, so let's go straight. We are very close to the river. We are doing it. We are doing great so far. And closer and closer we get. The thing is, it's very hot. You'll see 90% of people here shirtless, especially men. Oh, to the bank. They're just chilling. I'm just saying hello. So let's go. There's this famous river here. And this is the river that I should take a ferry or boat. I don't know if it's a ferry or it's a boat. You know? There is a cut here also. Looks amazing. Look how people live here, man. This is somebody's home. They call this place home. Oh, they have always called this place home. Nobody visits this town. Santa Rame. De Paro. You know, of in Spanish is day. In Portuguese, it can mean D-O. Do. I don't know if I'm wrong. Oh, there's a police station here, guys. So I'll try to avoid it. <laughs> because you don't have, you don't look like a spy. The road is very scanty. I wanted to cross. Maybe I pass here, then cross on the other side. I want to show you the river. Okay. Policia Militari. Military police. Yeah, this is the place. 
You come here in the evening, you'll see lots of people walking, chilling. And this is the fun thing about this river. It's not just a regular river. It's a river with huge boats. I don't know if you can see. That right there is a boat. Like from there till that side. Such big boat. So I'll be giving you a history of this river a little a li in a short while. At the same time also teach you a little history of this river. And uh, this kind of explains why the vegetation of this area is very green. Yes. This river connects to the Amazonas River. Uh, maybe when I can find a local, maybe the locals can tell us what's the name of this river. You know, something like that. You know? I need to find it. And if you see, you keep walking here. This is one of the best stretches of the city. Because the more you walk this way, the more you, you go to the center of the city. Where yesterday I was just chilling, watching the sunset. And also many people come to this side to watch the sunset. This is actually now what we call a... Uh, the mother of mosquito places, you know? This type of vegetation, you can tell. So that being said, that's why you're here in Brazil, they have like dengue, there's a disease called dengue. I'm told it's like malaria, but it's not. Okay, so I'm taking a picture for my Instagram. Guys, please go follow me on Instagram. Let's see, that's Marwa. I wanna take a very nice video here for you guys. Wow. Brazil very nice Fresa super nice so hmm, there's a boy showcasing his skills here of bicycle okay wow everybody is sweating guys everybody is sweating here so I feel like actually amigo the day I said hello. I think people actually live inside these boats because I see somebody with water over there. Yeah, people live in these boats actually. That's one thing I'm realizing. Yeah, I see people living actually there. As I see a big fridge. Oh wow, even there's a solar panel on top of this. I don't know if you can see it. There's a solar right there. Yeah, people live in these boats. That one, uh, now I'm sure. Wow, I wish I can get one guy to give me a boat, boat tour. Huh? This is a huge river. I don't know if you guys see it. It goes, it doesn't feel like a river actually. It feels like a lake. Because even if I'm looking at it, it's never ending. So I, I, I'm very sure some people here are fishermen. And some people just leave or they do even tours of the river. And now we are going downtown. We are closer and closer to downtown. And I think maybe this is where the boat leaves for Amazonas. I'm not sure. Let me check on my... Let me check on my Google Maps. You know? Wow, look how people live here. Just chill. Um, yeah, this guy Bolsa sent me something. Puerto the... Okay. Let me see here. Puerto... Oh, it says it's not here. It says it's far away from here. So maybe this is just a local area, you know. Damn, here they are playing even music. Imagine making babies in a boat, guys. What a dream come true. Uh -huh. I think there's a fish market in front of me. I see, yeah, this river supplies a lot of fish. I should be eating fish right now, not beans. Wow, 
super big. Wow, look at this. Wow, it's a huge fish market here. Amigo, the bank. Ah. Ah, they have really good fish, guys. Fresh from the river. You see? Life in Brazil. Wow, look at this. Fresh. I need to find a local to explain a little bit and maybe I should I should get some juice which juice is this? Uh -huh. yeah, Amigo, is this suco? No, to copy. It's no suco. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, obrigado. <laughs> It's, I thought it's juice. It's not juice, guys. So it's something else. I think it's something to cook fish with. And if you're from Brazil or you speak Portuguese, please let me know what that was. I wanted to exchange my water with, with suco. You know, suco means juice. So now we are leaving the fish market. The birds are actually roaming around. It's a very chill environment. I see how people live here. You see one thing, oh this guy has Lukaku, Lukaku is an African player, you see the influence, so this is a funny thing, even if people, these people look like mixed race or they look indigenous, most of them identify as black, I think the ship that is taking us to Manaus will be something like that, I am not sure, I will see tomorrow, this is how the town looks like guys, very amazing. I'm trying to get a local who can explain to us what actually this is. Maybe, okay, this is because this lady has the kid. If she was alone, I would have asked her to take me pictures. Wow. Life here. People also drink in the streets. Reminds me a little bit of India. <laughs> yeah, this is like a nice spot. Wow, look up for burning fish. To the bomb, amigo. Todo bien? Okay, wow. Let me ask this guy. I don't know, he's taking pictures also. But uh, I see most people here sell fish. Huh? It's such a big river. It doesn't feel like a river, it feels like feels like a small lake. Wow. Life in Brazil. So I think now I've left the area where they sell fish. Now I think if I keep going that way, I'll go to the center of the city. Where maybe probably yesterday I was. I need to check from my Google Maps. Uh, actually where I am right now and remember as I told you in Africa the Sun sets that way but here in Brazil the Sun is setting from right at the opposite yes so <sighs> crazy day crazy times crazy travels this is it guys Brazil I've seen a lot of these doors I don't know if I should call them boats but they look like big, big yacht, you know? Wow. What a beautiful day. Uh, I'm telling you, this is Brazil. Please guys, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll try to see a local if I can find, you know, it's a probability that I can interview. I see people arriving with bags. So it seems this is like a boat that uh, actually moves people. Two days. Maybe these are the boats that goes to Amazonas. Huh? I'm seeing people with bags, with uh, a lot of goods, you know. So, leaves me wondering if actually this is the type of boat I'll take. I really want the big one, you know? I really want a very big boat. I don't want a small one. 
Look, this is a river, guys. It doesn't feel like a river, you know? <laughs> and it's not just this part. It, it's such a huge river. Amigo, eh, muito bom. Let me ask this guy. Como se chama esta rio, amigo? Tapajós. Rio Tapajós. Rio Tapajós. Pata George. Ta. Ta. Pa. Pa. Jós. Rio Tapa Jós. Este rio conectar Amazonas. Sim, sim. O Amazonas está bem na frente aí. Donde? Amazonas é para aqui? Uh -huh. Oh. Esta é no Amazonas. Não, esse é o Tapa Jós. Tapa Jós. Esta é bota. Como se chama esta? Es bota? O que? O barco? É o barco. Este barco. barco. Tu, habla, tu fala inglês? I do. Oh, ok. That's super great. <laughs> Guys, I am so lucky. Uh, ok, I'm doing for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Marwa. Hi. So I come from Kenya. What's your name actually, bro? My name is Haid. Haid? Yes. So where are you from, Haid? I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Which yes. part of Brazil? Ah, Santarém. This is your hometown. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So can you tell us a little bit, man? I'm doing for YouTube. So maybe I'll show you my YouTube channel and tomorrow you're going to enjoy seeing yourself okay, <laughs> on YouTube. Okay. And it's very, I'm very lucky to meet somebody who speaks English. Mm -hmm. I'm from Kenya, Africa. I travel around the world just okay. showing people places and things mm -hmm. to do. So please give us a little history of this river, man. I'm standing this side because of the sun, you know? Well, that, yeah. that is a, a little bit odd because I don't know really much about the, the history. But the name of the river is? Tapajós. Tapajós. Tapajós it's the, the ancient tribe that used to live here. Okay. Okay. Okay, they, so that's where the river gets the name from. I, I guess so, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, have you traveled outside Brazil or something? No, no, outside Brazil, no. Because my biggest surprise is I've never seen such a big river. Most of the time rivers are very small. Mm -hmm. This feels like a lake, bro. Yeah, it is, but... Um... Why do they call it a river? The water is flowing. It looks like it's just chilling, you know? I don't know because it's like a stream. I don't know. And that. how far is this? How many kilometers? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm but not it's sure. so big. Yeah, I think it's the biggest in the world. Wait, this is the biggest river in the world? Yeah, well, the Amazon River, I mean. But this is not the Amazon? No, no. Okay. It's a, a kind of um, brother called this. Oh, a brother to Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow, guys, you, we'll have to Google about this river and uh, tell us. It's called Tepa... Tapa Jorge. Tapa Jorge. Yes. What is the best things to do here, man? I'm so new. I'm actually going to Manaus. Mm -hmm. I decided to stay here for one or two days. Okay. I'm just exploring the world, you know, okay. just like an explorer and meeting somebody like you, you know, mm -hmm. randomly in the street. Okay. Uh, what are the best things to do here? Well, yeah. Uh, you can, um, here in Sultan, you can go to the beaches. Oh, okay. yeah. There, I'm, I'm there are a lot of beaches. Yeah. Uh, you can fish at okay. night here. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, if you stay, until the noon, you'll see a lot of people fishing. Oh, at night? Yeah, yeah. So that means fish is very cheap here? It is, it is. There is a Yeah, I, market, I saw, you know? I saw it. I saw it when I was mm -hmm. coming. So it's really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. It is. Wow. How is, uh, generally, what's the biggest economical activity of people of Santarém? Uh, I think it's tourism. tourism oh, visitors yes. come here? Mm -hmm. I've not seen any tourists, man. I think I'm the only one. Well. Because even my title of the video was supposed to be Nobody visits this place. They, so they I'm used, wrong. They used to go to Alter du Chão. It's the, the oh, most, Alto. Alter du Chão. Yeah, it's like 30 kilometers that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have seen, I have seen that where they have a lot of cabins. Yeah, yeah. Small, yeah. small houses. Mm -hmm. I've seen it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Wow. You must, you must try it. You must go there. So I don't know if I should go to Amazon because I'm planning tomorrow to take a boat mm -hmm. to Manaus, uh -huh. and they tell me it's two days. I think it's two days. I've never been uh, to Manaus by boat. Yeah. I went by plane. Okay, by plane. Yeah. So I want to do the boat thing. Okay. Like I'm told it's a big boat with a lot of things, no uh -huh, poles. Uh -huh. I want to try that kind of adventure. Well, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than this one. Yeah, yeah. Much bigger. Or like the one, there's one over no, there. No. That's that's really big. Yeah, no, it's not, not as big as this. Yeah. But it's a... a Yes, it can take boat. even like, yeah, like cars. A, we call this a kind of uh, ship. Oh, it's a ship. How do you uh -huh. call it? Loc local name. Uh, Navio. Navio. Yes. Okay, from the word navigate. Yeah, yeah. yeah Navio. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is one thing you can tell me as a foreigner visiting your town, hometown? 
you know me i'm so new i'm sniffing everywhere i'm meeting people hey amigo mm -hmm. you know but what can you tell me something that i should take care of myself and things that i should know well you have to take care everywhere you go yeah 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 you know? but enjoy amazon enjoy our, our country enjoy okay. our city so technically we are already in the amazon right now mm -hmm. yes this is, this is amazon the, well, Amazon, the, yeah. the rainforest, I mean, the, the region, the Amazon region yeah. is really big. Okay. There's like four or five states. Oh, you know? so right now I'm in the Amazon already? You, yes, yes, you are. Oh, man. I'm telling people I'm going to Amazon. <laughs> in Amazon. <laughs> because I saw it's called the state of Para. Uh-huh. Para. So but the, the region, the Amazon region, region. Uh, uh, is a uh, combiner uh, of, I think, four or five states okay. Pará, Amapá, Amazonas that we're going to yeah. um, tomorrow yeah. uh, Roraima okay. and Acre because honestly when I was coming here it started feeling like the Amazonas even at the airport mm -hmm. the road from the airport to this place mm -hmm. it's so bushy it reminded me of Tulum, Mexico you know something like that mm -hmm. and also looking at this river it's so big like you can't even tell mm -hmm. if it's a river or a lake I'm like this feels like Amazons but people yes. are okay hey George thank you man uh, thank you you took your time so I want to show you my YouTube channel so you can see this video you okay, know okay it's really a pleasure meeting randomly George and George has been kind enough at first when I said hello he showed me like he's listening to some music <laughs> I was, I was. <laughs> thank you enjoy okay. yourself here. yeah I want to show you my YouTube channel you have okay. your phone mm -hmm. I could show you George you will enjoy now that you speak English you will enjoy my videos even more because I've been to around 74 countries around there mm -hmm. And I randomly get lost in the streets like what this. Is the, what is the name? I am Marwa. I am. Uh, I am. Yes, space. Marwa. Ma, ma, ma. Marwa. Space. De no, 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 no. Oh, space. Yeah, space. yeah, 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 yeah. Ma. Uh, yes, it's right there. It's right there, number one. Yeah, that one. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribed. If you like to watch travel videos, maybe you may have you may have seen me somewhere. Okay. But now you wanna enjoy more. Enjoy, enjoy. And you'll here. see my journey tomorrow. Okay. All right, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. All Bye -bye. right, enjoy. Yes, guys. Just like that, I was telling you that I intend to meet a local to explain to me a little things here and there. And the funny thing is, before even I did the clip somebody showed up who actually speaks perfect english and he was able to explain to us all that we needed what can you learn from that be careful of your thoughts your thoughts actually process into reality that's why i hate to be around negative people negative thoughts negative comments i block i don't care i rather have two people following me than have a huge you know audience in the name of your famous but with toxic or with a lot of negativity. Actually, I felt like this is the Amazonas, you know? Because the whole environment feels like it's kinda Amazonas. Look, look, look at, for example, this here. It's so fresh, it gives you the vibe of Amazonas. And he has told us this river joins the Amazonas that way. I'm trying to imagine how the Amazonas will be, man. Yeah, remember now I'll be taking a two day trip to Amazonas and it's coming on this YouTube channel. So guys, please, please subscribe to the channel for you to enjoy this. So maybe for the next two days, I may not be able to upload videos. And uh, that being said is kindly stay tuned because I don't know if they have Wi-Fi in the boat, like a strong Wi-Fi that can actually uh, make me upload videos and something. But uh, tomorrow in my next vlog, we shall discover that. Uh, my brother, if you're watching this, thank you so much. And thank you for being part of uh, my video today. And please uh, share this video to some of your friends who speak English so they can see uh, my vlogs in Brazil or in your country. That's the brother who I just met right now. Okay, so let's go this way. I see what's going on on this other farthest end. So I'll let you know what's going on through this vlog. But I'm still mesmerized with this river. The only one thing I didn't do with my brother is ask him to take me a picture. So probably I could ask somebody to take me a picture. Maybe this guy in front of me. Let me see. You know, amigo, 
¿Puedo tomarme una foto? Sí, you can take me a picture, amigo. Una foto. Ok. ¿Una foto tuya? Sí. ¿Tú hablas inglés? Más o menos. Ok. Mejor mismo en portugués. Oh, portugués. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Mi hermano, Yuteo. Yuteo. Ok, so guys, let me, let me take a good picture here. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.